you're kissing nobody. And I say this with no judgment because your girl has done it and been told to not do it and then wanted to sink into the floor and disintegrate. It was horrible. So this is hopefully going to help you not make the same mistakes that I have so unfortunately made. back to my YouTube channel where I make strange videos and acting content. Today's video is something that I actually got requested, kind of, not really. I had someone for the first time ever reach out to me, not in the comment section, but actually on social media, to ask an actual acting question. Why am I so out of breath? <sighs> um, and the question was, what do you do when the sides that you're reading for an audition require a lot of physicality? And I thought, what a great thing to make a video on because I can actually show you in the video with audition framing what you would do in a given circumstance where you have a lot of physicality in an audition. Um, I'm also going to talk about how to kiss in an audition because believe me, that can be the most uncomfortable, horrific thing that will ever happen to you. And it's happened to me. Okay, so the first thing we wanna talk about is physicality. Say you've got a role that you're reading for and it's all fine, you're reading the script, seems great, and then all of a sudden it says, so then you trip in a hole and you have to army crawl your way out and then you get six bullets to the chest and then you fall back and then you get back up with a Chinese get up and then you start beating up crazy communist soldier. Um, <clears throat> like for myself that'd be super easy cause I'm a professional, but it might be hard for you. That stuff is really hard to do on camera, and especially if you're a little bit newer or haven't had a lot of auditions, it can be really hard to navigate, like, what am I supposed to do? First of all, number one thing that you're not gonna do is fall on the ground and start pretending to army crawl. Um, the casting director will stop you so fast. The number one reason is they don't want you to get hurt. They don't want you to fall in the audition, hurt yourself, or hurt their equipment, or hurt their setup, whatever it is, Just just don't do it, it's a liability, don't. Um, another thing is that if you fall, you drop out of frame. They have to quickly get down and catch you with the camera or, you know, they just lose you out of frame and <laughs> then the whole purpose is really defeated. So, what you're gonna do is take all of that physical movement and activity and energy and bring it up from the tip of your head to your chest. That seems really hard, but it's actually not. So for example, I'll just do what I just explained. Um, so you trip in a hole, super easy to do if you're standing or sitting. A fake trip um, so you trip in a hole then you've got to army crawl your way out and you're not actually gonna be army crawling um, but you can just like kind of look around and move your shoulders as if you are um, taking bolts to the chest is easy you've seen it a billion times in movies and it's easy to bring it to your own body um, and again you do it with your face right like if you're in physical pain you can do that with your face um, dropping to the ground, you're just not gonna drop to the ground. Fighting someone, if it says like he punches him, super easy to do. An off-camera punch, you just make sure that your fist lands outside of the frame. So if the guy, I'll pretend is standing right here, I get shot. <clears throat> they can't see what I'm not making contact with, which makes it easier. You, what you don't wanna do is like, <clears throat> they're like, okay, Rocky go home. You want to make sure that whatever you do is believable and that you don't draw attention to the fact that you're shooting in a room, not in a combat zone. <laughs> Anything physical like that, you just want to bring it down and make sure you can do it with this part of your body. And every situation is different. Maybe the casting director will say, yeah, I want you to fall to the ground. Then, you know, be careful and do it. So that's one situation that can be uncomfortable and hard to navigate in an audition. The second, which I've encountered much more of, is the most uncomfortable thing that could happen to you in an audition, which is those two dreaded words that every actor prays they don't read in their sides. They kiss. The reason that you're auditioning is so that you can show them that you're good in this role and that you're believable and nothing, and I do mean nothing, breaks the fourth wall quicker than you kissing the air. We don't see anybody there. There is nobody there, yet for some reason you're kissing nobody. And I say this with no judgment because your girl has done it and been told to not do it. 
and then wanted to sink into the floor and disintegrate. It was horrible. So this is hopefully going to help you not make the same mistakes that I have so unfortunately made. So let me give you an example of what not to do. One kissing in an audition. Yeah, um, I think I like you too. If you were at that moment to look at the casting director, this is what they'd be doing. No, 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 please stop. No, 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 no. Oh god, no. It's very uncomfortable for everyone, including yourself and the casting directors. Nobody wants to see you kiss the air. That's not what you're here for. So, what do you do instead? The same goes for hugging, so I'll just encompass this all. I call it the eye kiss. And what that means, and I learned this from an acting teacher and it really, really helped me, and I hope this helps you too. Um, basically, you do everything that you would leading up to a kiss. And then when that moment is supposed to happen, you just have the look, the intention in your eyes, like, I want to kiss you so bad, but I can't. I don't know, pretend that they're like, mom is sitting right next to you and you just cannot kiss them, but you want to so badly. And so that will come across in your eyes. And then the moment of actual kissing, you can lean in a little bit. Maybe reach out your hand and grab theirs off camera so it mocks physical contact, but they don't see that you're actually grabbing nothing. Um, don't be like, you know, um, then it defeats the purpose. So I'll do that same scene with an eye kiss instead. Um, I think I like you too. <laughs> so instead of being super weird and like blah, 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 in the air, you can just, uh, you know, smile at the air, which is less uncomfortable. Same goes for hugging. So I get hugging a lot in auditions. My old friend, oh, I missed you. It's not a good look. Don't do that ever. Um, you know, but hugging is same thing, like a move in, maybe an arm grab, something like that makes it seem like you're actually making contact with someone off screen. Um, Cause yeah, they wanna see you in that realm. They wanna be able to picture you there and you hugging nothing is a bad look. So those are two situations that every actor will inevitably run into. Um, remember, your face is your best tool. Use that to show fighting scenes, getting hurt, falling in love, contact, anything like that. This is the best tool to use. And a little bit of physicalization is great. Um, you can always ask the casting director, could my frame be a little wider? I plan on doing this. That's one more thing I wanted to add to this video. If you ever have any questions, you know, if for some reason you didn't end up watching my video before your audition and you still have questions, I don't know why that would happen, but it might. Ask the casting director. That's what they're there for, not just to be on the other side. They wanna work with you. They're there to help you. So if you say, hey, in this audition, I'm supposed to do like a flying kick spin. Um, could you back up the camera a little cause I'm gonna like just move my body a bit. Ask or say like, do you have any suggestions for what I should do for this instead? Just make sure you don't hurt yourself or anybody else in the room. That's number one. That's their number one concern. It's safety. They just don't want you to hurt yourself or somebody else or their precious equipment. So I really hope this helped you guys. Certainly would have appreciated this video in like 2015 when I was just kissing the air all through Toronto. And uh, yeah, it's horrible. It's really, really horrible. Um, I would really love if you would comment below horror stories from your auditions when you've maybe kissed the air or like your hand or something. I like hearing about people's tragedy. And if this helped you or if you have any other questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful. And please feel free to watch the rest of my videos and maybe you'll find something else that's helpful or you'll just find someone to laugh at, which is fine too. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next week on to be or not to be Tuesday Greetings loved ones Let's take a journey I know a place Where the grass is really green